when I was lying there on the couch trying desperately to make myself do something, anything. What's up guys, Unite the Clans here. I am back in your life with another episode of Drinking By Myself. Uh, that is my vlog, where usually I got a beer in my hand and we talk, uh, I think about a variety of subjects. We talk video games, uh, I talk YouTube, I talk about what it's like uh, to spend ooh, all your free time uh, making uh, videos. and. Uh, Today will be a departure, uh, no doubt about it, uh, and it's going to be more serious. Uh, uh, I have, yeah, I, what I would call, I have what I would call a serious uh, topic to discuss with you guys, uh, and I'm going to start off uh, this vlog with a confession. I lied to you guys in a video earlier this week. On Tuesday, the latest episode of my Picts campaign uh, in Total War Attila came out. And at some point in that video, I said uh, that I had taken about a week off just to chill, relax, clear my head. Not entirely true. I did uh, take a week off. There was uh, seven days between uploads on my channel. Uh, at one point. Now for you guys, you won't really feel the effect of that. I uh, was lucky enough to have managed to get uh, a week or so ahead in my recordings, so it didn't really didn't really affect the, the schedule of videos on this channel. But the truth is, I did spend a week not working on the channel, not working on making videos for you guys. Um, and the reason that happened is not because I wanted it to happen. Uh, I love getting ahead because when I get ahead, that means I can up my schedule. I can go from two videos a week to three to four and uh, and, and hopefully beyond that. Um, yeah, that's, that's the great thing about getting ahead. The reason that I took that time off is because <clears throat> I was depressed. Uh, it's, like I said, a serious topic. And depression is something that has not hit me like it hit me last week in a very long time. Um, I think back to my time in university, uh, and I was a master procrastinator. I would put things off for so long, so long. <clears throat> Uh, that, uh, you know, looking looking back on it now and with this experience, I think I was probably depressed a lot of the time. I went from being an A student in high school to being a C student in university. And I'm talking A plus to C frickin' minus. And when you go to university in Canada, if you're going for a, a bachelor degree with honors, <clears throat> C minus is about as bad as you can do. Uh, a D is an F in university here. Um, yeah, I think I wasn't loving school. Uh, it was a brand new experience for me. Everyone I knew was doing it. Uh, I'm of the age where, uh, I haven't looked at the stats, but I imagine it's probably the peak the biggest university enrollment ever in a single year was my first year in university. We have this thing where I grew up where for a long time, there were five years of high school. Uh, we had a, I guess what you would call a 13th grade. Uh, and I was the last group to have that grade. So the year that I went to university, it was all the kids born same year as me and all the kids born a year younger. That was the first batch of kids to only have four years in university. They called it the double cohort 
We all went to university together. Every single room became a double. Every double became a triple. And there was really no not going to university. Literally everyone I know, even dumb kids, went to university. Even kids who didn't want jobs that require university degrees went to post-secondary education. And so for me, there was no not doing it. And when I got there, I realized I didn't really like it that much. Um, and I think looking back, I spent a lot of the time uh, in university. I probably was depressed, um, but I never recognized it. That's what made this time different. Uh, I spent a week sitting on my ass on the couch. Actually, to be more accurate, I spent that time on my face. Uh, I was lying on my belly with a blanket pulled over my head, face down in a pillow, and I could not get out. I thought so much, I tr meant, put so much mental energy into getting myself off the couch and back to this computer, and all that happened is I would get myself up, I'd sit here for a minute, and then I'd go to bed. Uh, I think at like 6.30 one day, because that's how much I didn't want to do this. And there's nothing about the channel that I don't love. I've been feeling fine for a week, and I've been spending so much time uh, working on it. <clears throat> I'm sure you have heard this, and I had heard it before, that depression is a disease. I'm an open-minded liberal person, and I'm not a doctor. So I have always assumed that the people who are saying that know best, but I'm not sure I've ever quite believed it. Um, I think I believe it a little more now. Now, I don't think depression is a disease like uh, like type 1 diabetes is a disease. Um, I think it's probably more like uh, type 2 diabetes. I think it is. I think it hits us. <clears throat> I don't think it's entirely out of our control. Um, I think it... It is often a result of the way that we live our lives. We are so incredibly interconnected. This video is probably going to get 30 views, something like that. It's not a lot. My channel is brand new. But those views will probably come from 12 different countries. If you wanted to right now, uh, you could, because of the internet, spend all day, every day, taking in bad news. You could probably get bad news seven days a week, 24 hours a day, and do it without even leaving Twitter. Uh, we have the ability to take in so much information. We need to be careful what kind of information we take in. And our brains are not designed to handle that much bad news. It's the bottom line. I'm going to... Mm, no, let's just keep going. So if depression is a disease, it is a disease uh, like obesity. Uh, it is largely a product of our modern world. I think if you went back uh, into prehistory and looked at ancient human beings, you went back to the first people that were born with the exact same physiology and psychology of modern uh, human infants. I think if you watched those people grow up, you wouldn't find uh, type 2 diabetes. You would not find obesity. And I don't know, I don't think... And I don't think you would find depression. Uh, now, it sounds like I am demonizing the internet. But when I was lying there on the couch, trying desperately to make myself do something, anything, I went to the internet. Well, it was my bed. I thought I was bad. Swear that I... Sit in this chair